I love changing the wheels. I love having wheels that nobody else has got or nobody else has done on that car before and they fit perfect and just stuff that is not easily, you can't just walk into a showroom and go and buy that car as that as it is. It's personal, you know? It's You've got to really be a true enthusiast of it to understand it, I suppose. Uh, but then the, the purists will say, oh, I'll leave it stock. I, I understand that more and more so now as I'm getting older, but I still love the, the whole aspect of making a car your own. series um it was a 1989 on a f plate um he had that for years for like 15 years so all the way through growing up he had that car um so that's always kind of stuck in my head and always loved bmw since then really i just love the way they drive i love the way they look um especially the e30 34 era they're, they're, they're kind of my favorites well, I've got so many 34s and so many 30s. Late 80s cars were really difficult cars to drive, like stuff like this, um, like the Porsches and stuff of the same era. Um, they're, they're difficult cars to drive, they're not comfortable cars to drive, whereas the BMWs were comfortable, they were fast, they handled brilliantly, they did everything, I, in my opinion, probably even better than, than this, um, other than looks I suppose but that's subjective uh, I think an E30 M3 looks just as good as a Testarossa. The E34 I keep out of my 4 is probably my 540 manual because it's so different uh, it's quite highly modified in, in terms of um, the wheel suspension um, the interior has got like really rare E34 M5 seats from a, a limited edition M5 and it's all been retrimmed really, really well. It's been resprayed. It's, it's literally been completely restored and modified exactly how I'd, how I'd want it. I've always loved modified cars. I grew up reading Performance BMW magazine, um, even like Max Power, Revs magazines back in the day. Um, and always loved the mo modified sort of aspect of, especially the older cars. I used to get a lot more negative sort of remarks about my cars, um, modifying wise. Um, but I think people don't really say it to me anymore. But um, it's, no, it's never bothered me. I've always just always done what, I, what I've liked and I think it looks good. So, and not only looks wise, I modify them to change the engines, make them faster, uh, suspension modifications to make them handle better, even like steering racks, things like that, just to change everything about, improve everything about a car, you know? Especially the older cars, they, they need it to sort of keep up with modern equivalents. There's also uh, something to say about keeping a car completely original and giving and having that old time warp feeling of driving an old car. But there's also something to be said for making a car feel newer. E30 M3 was always like kind of my dream car. Always wanted one from like young. Just seeing it anywhere, it just looked completely different. It looked like a race car, you know. Um, and I was at the time, um, growing up as a teenager, I loved E46 M3s because 
that was the new M3 at the time. You used to see it in magazines of putting a E46 M3 engine in an E30 M3. It's had the best of both. As fast as a new one, but as but looks the same as the old one. So I always always wanted to do that. Um, and then come I come a point where I could, so I did. Uh, and the the orange with all the carbon and everything else was kind of just all just worked well together right in my head. It upset people a lot when we put it on air suspension. That's what really upset people because the E33 people love for the handling. Um, but obviously the handling of an E33 is special to the car, but it's also 30 years old. So it can be improved. Um, I'm not saying that air suspension is necessarily a massive improvement, but it gives me the ability to have it looking how I want, which is low. Um, the fitment right with the wheels, as well as giving me a, a, a really good drive. Um, I think the, the, the suspension that it runs is actually brilliant for what the car is. Um, it upset a lot of people when I did it, but uh, most of those people come around to the fact and they actually, the people that hated on the car originally actually have come to love it. Everything was decided kind of beforehand that I wanted to do the full Alcantara interior, um, keep it looking quite OEM stock inside, um, keep the car looking very OEM, OEM plus, but just like slammed on air um, so I can raise it up and drive it hard because that's really what I like to do is drive drive the cars, not just look at them. I've got pretty much my dream car collection. Obviously there's a the stuff that I grew up wanting um, is mostly here. Um, there's a couple of cars that you, you still think, actually I'd, I'd love one of those. It would always be the Ethereum M3. Um, it's, it's the car that it's completely different to everything else. It's the car that I, can't, I couldn't replace really um, just for the, the amount of work that went into it, um, the amount of passion I have for it. The, this car I always wanted and when I finally got it, it wasn't the car I wanted until I made it the car I wanted. Um, and that's, that to me makes it special. Um, no one can just walk into anywhere and say, I want that car and I have the same attachment to it as I've got to that one, I suppose. Um, and I don't have that with any other vehicle at all. <laughs>